From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kurt Smith. Another full day of debate on the budget in the House today. For the country looking ahead to Thursday, when Prime Minister Minnis is expected to speak and announce, among other things, a lifting of more restrictions for coronavirus fully vaccinated people. He's referred to it as Vaccinated Day and explained to reporters at the time what he had in mind. We want to open the country so we can have a vaccinated day where you can have happy hour. We're all vaccinated. Carry on. Enjoy yourself. The band, band members are vaccinated. Play on, right? Then you can have um, parties. Carry on. Have your party. The nightly curfew could be adjusted also. Health officials reporting 15 more confirmed cases for Tuesday. There were two more deaths reported, a man and a woman from the Capitol. 239 total deaths now, more than 20 still under investigation, though. Still more than 700 active cases to be monitored by health workers in the country. 38 persons in hospital with four in the ICU. Residents in Cat Island and parts of Andros waiting to hear if their curfew will stay in place. It's a 6 o'clock curfew for Andros right now and an 8 p.m. curfew for Cat Island. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The coroner now has the latest police-involved fatal shooting incident to investigate. Here in the Capitol yesterday morning it happened. A Cutler's Wheeling man shot several times by police after they say he charged at them. Relatives of the victim had called police to help them get him to hospital. They say they'd hope the matter could be handled in a different way. Police say the fire burning at the scrap metal business in the area of the landfill here in the Capitol is pretty much contained now and should be extinguished in time. There's still some smoke issues in the area, though. Supreme Court Justice Grant Thompson now has heard the closing arguments in the Shantytown Challenge case. She's now going to make a ruling on that. No timetable for it. Tourism Minister DeAngelo says cruise ship home porting will bring up to 35,000 visitors to the Bahamas this year. And that could mean $50 million for the Treasury. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the Straits first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight. Winds falling to light and variable. The sea's three feet or less. The next tide is a low around seven this evening. Thursday's forecast, mostly cloudy skies expected again. Highs in the upper 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break. From the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best world news headlines u.s president biden wrapping up his first international trip as president with a meeting with russian president putin in geneva the two men expected to discuss a number of issues to try and find common ground according to u.s officials more countries progressing out of the coronavirus pandemic france has now announced that it's dropping mask mandates for outdoors and is lifting curfews British Prime Minister Johnson says he plans to resign after the next elections there to make money and have fun. That's a quote from him. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's plenty of soccer action. That major international tournament on in Europe continues. NBA playoffs tonight. Games 5. The Hawks and the Sixers. The Jazz and the Clippers. Both series tied at 2. Major League Baseball, Jazz on the Marlins, finish a series in St. Louis today. They head to Chicago for a series with the Cubs beginning on Friday. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories 
in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 